Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to The Hive. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at these brand new LifeX Outdoor String Lights. As always, we'll look around the outside of the box, we'll see what's in the box, and we'll get it set up with the native app. Now in a future video, we'll come back and we'll take a look at the Home Assistant integration as well. So while I roll the intro, why don't you take a moment to subscribe? And if you hit the bell icon, you'll get notified when I release new videos each week. While you're at it, if you like what I do here and you want to support the channel, there's some affiliate links to smart home gadgets that you can buy for your own smart home and support the channel at the same time in the video description. Or you can support the channel directly through my Buy Me A Coffee link. Of course, those affiliate links and my Buy Me A Coffee link can all be found on my website, hivemindautomation.com.au. With all of that out of the way, let's get started. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, we talked a bit about the Miros outdoor smart switch that we got to handle outdoor lighting at my in-laws place. We've also been looking at outdoor lighting for our alfresco here at home, but we wanted to get more than just on and off functionality. We've looked at a couple of different options, including Twinkly, Lightworks. There's also a Govi permanent outdoor light thing that's interesting, but only available in the United States. And we also looked at Wiz, but we were reluctant to commit to any of them for various different reasons. A few weeks ago, though, we found out about these newly announced LifeX outdoor string lights, which are available at JB Hi-Fi for an introductory price of $215. The regular price is $269. Now, I will say that they appear to be exclusive to JB Hi-Fi or available through an online purchase from Clever House, and I'll put links to those in the video description. I will be looking at doing a more in-depth comparison between the LifeX and some of the other options that we took a look at in the future so that you can understand our decision-making process a bit more, uh, but make sure that you're subscribed to get that video when it does come out. This LifeX outdoor string light comes in a 7.3 meter length string with 12 LED bulbs, and you can hook three of these together to get a nearly 22 meter long string. So we chose the LifeX specifically for a couple of different reasons. Firstly, as you might have picked up by now, we're fans of the LifeX ecosystem. We've had a number of LifeX accessories and they've always been great quality with a great feature set and they don't require a hub or a bridge, they just connect straight to Wi-Fi. The color output of the LifeX lights is always excellent and they have the biggest white balance range of any of the smart lights that I've ever tested. I've never had any issues with any of the hardware. Now that actually feels like four or five reasons just in that firstly one, but digress. Secondly, I feel like the style of these lights, which you can see on the B camera here, it's a bit more modern, which in my opinion, fits a bit more with our aesthetic. And thirdly, this LifeX string light will work natively out of the box with HomeKit without needing any separate orchestration platform like Home Assistant. Sure, the functionality and nuance of Home Assistant does add to the experience, and we will be exploring the LifeX Home Assistant integration with these string lights in a future video, but sometimes it's really nice to just be able to open the box and get stuff up and running with a minimal amount of fuss. And that's where HomeKit really shines. Like in our previous LifeX videos, there's really not very much in the way of prerequisites that we need to get these string lights working. We just need the lights themselves, a method to power them up and a Wi-Fi network. Something else I'll mention here is that I've never been trapped by LifeX accessories and any special needs for a 2.4 gigahertz exclusive wireless network. They tend to just work on a dual band network without any real fuss at all. So there's another reason that I personally really like the LifeX ecosystem. 
So we'll take a quick look around the outside of the box as we always do. And on the front here, we've got LifeX Outdoor. Bottom left, we've got LifeX Supercolor, five times brighter color, broadest white spectrum. See LifeX.com slash Supercolor. We've got string light, 7.3 meter, 12 LED bulbs, 600 lumens, uh, JB Hi-Fi price tag there. Um, we see uh, a little bit of kind of what they look like on the outside of the box here. And you can kind of see that they've got multi-colors, which is another selling point for these, that they can each run a different color. Uh, we've got no bridge, no hub, just Wi-Fi extend up to 21.9 meters. So that's where we can add three together and polychrome blended color in each bulb. So we can kind of get this two tone effect. You can kind of see in this one here and, and this one here where we've got a kind of multicolor effect. Uh, on the right hand side of the box here, we see we've got LifeX Supercolor award winning, tested five times brighter than other big brands in smart, calibrates in real time for lasting accurate coloring rendering. Uh, we select premium LEDs specifically to boost our color performance. The broadest white spectrum in smart 1500 to 9000K. Visit lifex.com slash supercolor for details. With LifeX Polychrome, you can create mesmerizing textured light and effects made up of many tones with one product. Three color zones per bulb, so it kind of indicates that there. Creates blended lighting effects, so you can kind of see what more or less what the projection effect might look like there. Uh, and this has 36 zones, three per bulb. On the back here, we've got uh, this LifeX string light is unlike any light you've ever seen. Not only can it illuminate your outdoor spaces with classic warm ambiance, but it can shift into vibrant color and dynamic motion that will transform your garden into a wonderland. Each bulb on the string blends three color zones, creating unique tones of casting reflections that feel like, well, magic. Schedule it, set up routines, or just hit some quick presets when the party starts to take your outdoor spaces from ordinary to extraordinary. Bit of a suggestion there, set my patio to party, and you can kind of see that serving suggestion there. We've got some fine print down in the bottom left here. Uh, we've got made for smart homes, works with Google, Apple, smart things, and Amazon. Uh, if I take a closer look here, it does show that it is a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, uh, but I have, as I mentioned, seen these work perfectly fine on a dual band Wi-Fi. So uh, shouldn't be anything to worry about there. And there's the usual spiel about um, the requirements to control this with HomeKit, uh, such as having a home hub when you're not home. Uh, on this left side, uh, we've got goodbye old fashioned string light, hello ultra futuristic envy of your friends vibe setting outdoor lighting. Uh, create hypnotic effects to suit the moment from shifting sunsets or rolling rainbows to gently flowing icy whites or just set and forget with easy routines. There's a serving suggest there for summer barbecue, which is a move style effect. And it says get the LifeX app for iOS or Android and control your light from the palm of your hand. And again, kind of a, a serving suggestion there where it comes out and loops back around the uh, outdoor dining table there. That's on the top, we've just got uh, designed in Melbourne, Australia and the LifeX logo. And lastly, on the bottom here, uh, we've got what's in the box. Uh, so we've got uh, the string with 12 RGBW lights attached to the matte black cable. I didn't realize there was a matte black cable, so that's kind of nice to know. Uh, but that also indicates another reason why we chose these. They're explicitly RGBW. When you try to get RGB to do white light, um, it tends to not be a very nice white light. It's a bit harsh and a bit, um, a bit blue. 7.3 meter total length there. Uh, we've got a weatherproof power supply, 3.4 meter length uh, back to the, um, from the power supply to the power port, which is nice. Uh, so that is kind of good. Uh, weatherproof power supply. And we've got this outdoor Wi-Fi controller as well. So that appears to be uh, separate. Uh, and uh, might be a bit difficult to see here, but this product is rated uh, IP66, suitable for wet locations. Okay, so with the outside of the box covered off, we can uh, open up the box and see what's inside. So I'm just going to uh, slice the plastic sticky dot here. That we've got. There we go. So 
got that open with that flap and we can pull up the top flap. Uh, so looking for setup videos, inspiration and more, we've got you just scan here. So you can scan that QR code and get some ideas. Uh, we've got an eyeball and a part there that says need help visit support.lifex.com for assistance uh, we've got a getting started guide here download the lifex app to begin uh it says i'm not reading this whole thing uh we get it don't worry here are the basics uh, turn it on download the app and uh, hit the plus button to add your product and um, that's pretty much the gist of it there's some uh, information here about uh, combining two or three kits uh, but uh, we should be able to uh, figure that out. We've got our Apple HomeKit QR code on the back there as well. Uh, but we will pull out the string light here. So we can see that. And these feel like really solid. They, they feel like they're, they're really quite um, durable. Um, there's this reusable zip tie on the cable here. I don't know that this is a LifeX standard packaging. I could be wrong on that. I'm not 100% certain that this is repackaged, um, but it could be. Uh, so we've got the string there, uh, and we've got this uh, box here, this white box. So I'll open up this white box, move the main box out of the way. And inside here we have our power supply uh, so we've got so it's a fairly short pigtail on the power supply but then there's uh, this nice three meter long air connector back to the what i'm going to assume then is we connect it to the controller here so while we're here i'll mate these together and we will screw that together so those are just um, right here. Okay, great. Oh, so this is nice. These actually, this there's some mounting hardware inside here. Uh, so we've got these little black clips. I'll pop these out. So we've got these little black clips, uh, and there's um, some wall anchors and screws to mount them to uh, the wall or the ceiling. So uh, that's quite a nice addition. I didn't think that we were going to get anything like this. So we actually ended up going to Bunnings and picking up uh, some mounting hardware for these. Uh, so the string itself, let's uh, take a look. I might just grab one of these to isolate. So we've got a plastic kind of cover there. I'm just going to tear the plastic off one of these so that we can really evaluate it properly. Okay. So um, this is one of the lights on the string. You can kind of see that it's uh, this cylindrical clear acrylic and it's got uh, you can kind of make out the three zones there so there's the center kind of frosted one the um, middle slightly frosted one and then this clear outside one um, the cable feels like really good um, it is a, a flat cable the connections are really nice as well so they're a waterproof connection there and it's keyed so you can't mess it up um, so you do it in like that and then tighten that down like so and then so we've got everything connected uh, we'll take a look at the control box here so this is the wi-fi controller uh, we see uh, lifex string controller Input output 24 volts at 2 amps for 48 watts. Uh, we've got a serial number there, Luminaire model, and design in Melbourne, made in China. There's a little rubberized button there, LifeX logo there. Uh, taking a look at the power supply, 60 watt LED power supply, 120 to 240 volts input, 50 to 60 hertz. 
24 volts at two and a half amps for 60 watts of uh, output there. So there's a bit of a difference between what the uh, controller can output. So yeah, interesting that. Um, so in terms of like the distance between each bulb, it's around probably about 60 centimeters, about two feet in freedom units. So uh, it's a reasonable. I'm just gonna try and set these up so that they're relatively neat and we can get a good look at them. One, eternity, later. Okay, so uh, we've got the light set up, plugged into power, and uh, over on my iPhone here, I've, I've just had to swap cameras and phones and things around here, but over on my iPhone here, if I open up the LifeX app, uh, we've got a bit of an update. It's been a while since we opened this up. It says we've created a shiny new app update to make your experience easier to navigate and create uh, with your smart lights. So we'll just skip through all of these. Don't worry too much about that. Uh, we've got all of our light groups here. I'm gonna tap the plus button in the bottom right hand corner and tap new product, new light. And we're getting started. I'm gonna tap next and says choose your product it's scanning for products to add using apple home kit uh, and this will optimize setup on ios and enables voice and other apple home features but you'll be returned to the lifex app as soon as you're done so select the product we'll grab lifex string and then next and we're going to put it into the hive and then next and it's preparing our device now it's asking us to use the setup code i'm going to use the camera and scan the QR code on the uh, back of the little get started guide. I do wish that LifeX would put those uh, QR codes on the power supply or somewhere on the accessory itself because it is kind of easy to lose those little uh, start getting started guides. Uh, so we'll just let this set up. So we've got a little bit of a blink there. I'm not sure if that was because it's connecting to the Wi-Fi. All right, so it says set up. Congratulations, your device is connected. Let's set up your device's name and location. So we'll go next. Uh, location uh, is just going to be my home. We'll go next. Uh, and we can create a group. I'm going to create a new group and call it Alfresco. We'll tap OK on that. And next, and go string done. And next, we can change that name later if we want. Now it's saying confirmed account. So when you plugged in your light, the pieces were counted. You might have noticed the light run along it. Check what was detected looks correct here. So it says length 7.3 meters. Uh, if you're adding more pieces, you can do that now and press the recount button. Uh, you can also see the number detected and recount at any time in the setting screen of your LifeX product. If you want to recount manually, you can also press the small button on the controller for one to two seconds. So that's uh, this small button on the side here. Uh, I'm going to press to recount. And it's just running along and counting the lights. And it's uh, detected the 7.3 meters anyway. So I'll tap done and we have our alfresco string. So I'll turn that back on. Uh, and as always with our LifeX lights, we can go to this super warm candle light at 1500 Kelvin uh, through to this blue ice at 9000 Kelvin. So like really, really wide um, color gamut on the whites there. Uh, for the colors, we get red here and it's a bit pink on uh, on the actual lights here. Uh, and we can just grab the color wheel and cycle through all those beautiful colors. Like the, the color output of these is just really, really nice. As always with LifeX uh, gear, the, the, the color output is really, really good. Uh, we've also got effects here at the bottom so if i press play on twinkle so it's kept that glass color that we are we were on and it's just kind of twinkling the lights there we've got color cycle and it's going to start doing as the name suggests cycling through some colors and it's doing that to all of the leds but 
I have a feeling that we can get different colors per uh, LED here as well. I'm going to hit random. And that's kind of just cycling through some random colors. And I'm starting to, see, starting to see as well some of that polychromic effect where we've got uh, different colors in different sections of the light there. So um, I hope that's coming through on camera because we'll, you know, it, it is really quite nice. Oh, we've got uh, pastels in there. So we get some nice pastel colors. And again, we've got that um, multichromic effect coming through. Where we've got some pink and some orange in the same thing. Uh, we can go into strobe and I can press and hold that. It says strobing's limited for recommended safe levels. However, in rare cases, uh, it's possible to trigger a seizure in some people. So don't use if you suffer from photosensitive epilepsy. So you can press and hold that and it will strobe. We also have flame. Uh, so that kind of goes through a reddy orange and flickering color there. Uh, we've got flicker, which is uh, going to do something very similar there. Uh, but I think we can change the color of that flickering there. Yeah, so we can change it to a green and have it flicker. We've got morph, uh, and that's a bit of an animated. Uh, and you can kind of see up the top of the app here, it's actually got the, uh, the colors that it's using and, and cycling through there. We've got move, got kind of a, a pink and a green and it's kind of cycling them uh, between the, the different zones in the LEDs there. Uh, we've got spooky. It's just kind of uh, almost like a, a haunted house kind of ride at, at the show um, where it's got these flickering lights. I've got a visualizer and it's asking us to access the microphone. So if I tap OK on that and it's accessing our microphone and it's reacting to sound from the phone here. So uh, that's pretty cool. And you can see here, especially that not every LED is the same color. So uh, we're really getting that in the visualizer theme here or the visualizer effect, I should say. We've got themes, so we can go through some different themes there and uh, get some really interesting kind of different things. There's quite a lot here. Uh, there's a nice pride one there. There's a nice soothing one there. Blissful. Lots and lots and lots of themes. So exciting. That's a very kind of rainbowy one there. Uh, there's lifestyle, so you can go bias lighting, warming. So yeah, all sorts of different uh, themes there. Uh, I won't go through all of those, uh, but I might just grab a Van Gogh. There we go, Starry Night. And then we've got paint. So I can grab red and I can start painting along the left edge of this string and I can start painting all the way along. So now we've got all of that's red. Now if I grab a blue and I just go from the end all the way there. So we can do that. I'll grab some of this color here, this green tealy color and fill that in there. Uh, and we'll go, we'll go back into paint and I'll grab this yellow and I'll rub that on there. And so, yeah, we can, we can paint these different scenes and really customize our look uh, and get exactly the look that we want. So um, yeah, you can have quite a lot of fun designing your own color palette here. And then you've got fill and we can just go red and tap there, and go green, tap there, and that's filling there. Grab the paint bucket again and then put some blue in the middle and then some of the tips. And now we've got blue and green. There we go. So that's paint. That's actually really nice. I, I really like that feature. I've seen something similar in the twinkly range, uh, but I think the twinkly range might actually do it um, a little bit better than this because we're just grabbing one end of a, a color line on the app and then just kind of uh, rubbing our finger on it to, to try and make it uh, get to what we want rather than uh, being able to kind of map it live. So, um, I mean, it's still pretty cool that we can paint whatever color we want on this line here.
So that's the controls in the three dot kebab menu in the top right hand corner. Uh, we've got some recent colors so we can just um, hit those and it's going to change immediately to those different colors. Uh, we've got add to palette, we've got light settings so we can drill in here, we can change the name, uh, we can change the direction so from left to right or right to left, we can change the length here so we can update that. We've got firmware update, we've got whether or not it's connected to the cloud. We've got our location, we've got our group, whether it's paired or not. So we can see it's paired in HomeKit and we've got our default room uh, and the accessory group is none. We can see our Wi-Fi strength there. Our firmware is 3.95. Model is LifeX Neighbors International 36 Zones. Not sure what that's about. Uh, and we've got our serial number. We can remove it from the cloud and reset the device there. So that's inside the LifeX native app. If I open up home and then go to my default room here, we should find, I've got too much stuff in my default room, uh, but here we go, we've got our lights and we've got our fresco string. So if I tap on the icon, we can turn it off and on. Uh, if I tap on the name, we get the different settings. So we can go from a cool white, kind of warmer, much warmer, much, much warmer, very orange, red. Grab our color picker. So we've got color, temperature, or swatch in here. Uh, so we can do those things. Uh, if I back out here, we've got our brightness as well. Uh, so all of the same controls that we would get with any other smart light in Apple HomeKit. Uh, Obviously, we don't have access to the zone painting or the themes here, it seems, which is, I mean, it might be nice to be able to change the themes or the, the effects, but that's okay. And we've got our cog in the bottom right hand corner so we can look at the settings for the accessory. Uh, so we can uh, put in things here, like we can change the room that it's in, and I will do that. I am going to create a new room and call this Alfresco, and we'll save that change. And so Alfresco, we can include it in our favorites. Um, I think that's probably worthwhile with this particular one. Group it with some other accessories and add some automations. So when the first person arrives home, we can turn on. When the last person leaves, we can turn it off. We can add an automation in here. Um, so people arrive, people leave, time of day occurs, accessories controlled, etc. cetera. Uh, suggested scenes so I can add it to a scene and I'm going to add it to the good night scene so that it turns off in the good night scene. Uh, we can do an arrive home scene, a leave home scene or a good morning scene there as well. We've got status details and we can include it in our home summaries and then again some of the same details so the manufacturer, the serial number, the model number and the firmware details and we can remove the accessory from there. So between the Apple Home Control and the LifeX native app control, we've got plenty of control over these LifeX string lights and uh, there's some really cool stuff built into them. Uh, we've even got a Christmas mode. It is coming up to Christmas, so this Christmas mode might actually be relevant to you. And it seems, interestingly enough, that every time I tap this theme, Oh, that, that's actually really cool. So every time I tap this theme, it's actually randomizing the colors uh, in and where they are in the strip. So um, no two versions of one of these themes will ever be the same. Uh, so we've got Kwanzaa, Independence. That's really cool. Canada Day. Uh, so you've got lots of red and white there. That's actually really cool. I, I didn't realize that it was going to randomize the string. I really like that a lot. Now I'm not going to go into the Home Assistant setup in this particular video. We're gonna save that for another video so that we can do a deep dive and uh, really get into some of the additional functions that uh, Home Assistant unlocks with the LifeX lights. I don't think we'll get access to the paint features with these particular lights, but there are some services that we can call from Home Assistant uh, that um, are not necessarily obvious on how to do from within the app itself. So that's the LifeX Outdoor String Lights. As with all of the LifeX gear we've tested on the channel, the build quality really is excellent. The light output's fantastic, 
and the temperature range for white light is massive. The color output is bright and vibrant and hooking them up is a breeze. Getting them into Apple HomeKit couldn't be easier uh, and the setup is, is pretty straightforward. The fact that these are expandable as well, I can just go and get another set of these and then string them again and then I can just detect them in the app. That's fantastic. I'm really tempted to go and get another set of these and plug them in so that we can have a 14.6 meter length of these string lights. I think these are going to provide enough light for our outdoor dining area so that we don't necessarily need another string but I think it will be interesting to maybe look at uh, another string of these lights at some point in the future. At the time of filming these are still uh, $215.99 from the LifeX website as a special launch offer and that's a pre-order for batch 2 which is expected to arrive around the 8th of December and you may still be able to find some stock in some JB Hi-Fi stores. That said, I dare say these are going to be pretty popular with the festive season very much upon us and outdoor dining space is starting to get more use as the weather, at least in the Southern Hemisphere, is starting to get pretty good. So availability of these devices might be a little bit tight. At the introductory price of $215, I do think they're excellent value. And even at the MSRP of $269, I think you could really do far worse. That is all we have for this video. And I do hope that it's helped you in your home automation journey. Be sure to drop a comment below with home automation ideas you'd like to see me cover in a future video. And don't forget to follow Hivemind Automation on Instagram and Facebook. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below to give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider changing that now. While you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll get a notification when I release new videos, which is normally each week. Lastly, if you enjoy what I'm doing here and you want to help to support the channel, there's a buy me a coffee link in the video description. Any contribution you make through Buy Me A Coffee does get put towards making more and hopefully better content for you to enjoy. Don't forget to also check out my website, hivemindautomation.com.au. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hivemind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.